This is the Gears of War Judgment Insane Difficulty walkthrough, getting all the stars and completing all declassified challenges. And this is on Downtown Havlo Bay, Section 4, State Street Rooftops. The declassified challenge for this mission is to use long shots and bolt-off pistols only. Uh, right when you start, you can turn around and grab that ammo, just to have a bit more bolt pistol ammo. It won't give you more long shot ammo, because... Uh, the way those regu regular ammo boxes work is they only give ammo to uh, these weapons. The Lancer, Retro Lancer, Hammer Burst, uh, Nasher Shotgun, the Sawed Off Shotgun, and the, the Pistols. Basically your typical weapons. Uh, as soon as you walk up to the top of that boardwalk thing, then those enemies will spawn. Just move back and take them out and be kind of patient with it. The previous level made me a little bit too aggressive and it's not easy to be aggressive with a sniper rifle and a pistol. And I'm gonna be honest, I was because of that, this recording, I was kind of a pussy playing through this. And so the only reason this video is longer than the last level, it really shouldn't be longer than the previous level. But, it is. Uh, j yeah, just clear out these enemies, and when you are able to move ahead up that next boardwalk, you'll have a couple more locusts, and you'll have these new enemies. Uh, I don't remember what they're called, to be honest. I'm just going to call them Blimps. And it's a dumb name, I know, but I can't think of anything better. But yeah, these blimp enemies, they always show up in groups, and they f they're they like flying gas bags or something. And they can, they can sh they're not very strong individually, but if they group up on you, you're going to die very fast. And when you kill them, they explode. Often, they will try to go kamikaze on you if you're close enough to for them to hit. But sometimes when you kill them, they'll go kamikaze on their own guys. Which can be a bit helpful. But yeah, uh, the best thing I can recommend for this level is... Take your time. Don't rush. And you shouldn't have to worry too much about getting all the stars for this level. A bad shot with a long shot there. Um, yeah, you shouldn't have to worry too much about getting three stars for this level. Pretty easy. And other than uh, staying back and taking your time, uh, the, I don't have anything else to recommend. Uh, but at the end of the level, well, towards the end of the level, there will be a Reaver that shows up. Just stay back and u use your long shot on him. I actually recommend shooting the dude with the torque ball on, on him first. Because he can be a pain in the ass if you don't. Ugh. Yeah, he can be a pain in the ass because you don't want to be shooting at the Reaver and get stuck with a torque bow shot and have to start the whole level over again. You know, I'm actually not sure if this level has checkpoints. The only part I died was at this beginning part. Just being too aggressive, so... Yeah, uh, with the Reaver, just stay back, use a long shot, and you should make it through this level easily.
Sniper! probably put some locust bounty on our heads.
tell me we're finally getting close to that museum. <laughs>